the idea of uh, take the road that is most predictable. You've heard that before too. Doesn't quite get it done either. And so then, uh, then of course, there's the, the other idea that uh, would go along this line. The, the idea of uh, you, you be a person who doesn't do anything outside the lines. Don't color outside the lines. Be a person who is going to be a, a one who is absolutely predictably going to uh, do just exactly as you are told, just as you are commanded to in, in life and on the job and so on. Not saying that we ought to be um, um, absolute rebels and so on, but, but people who are rewarded immensely in life, people who write history, who are voices, not echoes, are people who take uh, the risky way around life. And so uh, this issue of, of security has to be something that is gambled with a little bit. And, and maybe if you're one of those gambling spirits, you can relate to a little bit of what I'm talking about here today. And so what we need to do is uh, be a, a person or a, a, a kind of person who is willing to have a, a little bit of a, of a, a Las Vegas aspect to our, our makeup. And, and, you know, I'm not saying you know, yes to, to gambling. Don't, don't hear that. You have to be a very left brain kind of person to hear that in what I'm talking about today. You get that I'm talking about a metaphor. But um, the, the idea that, that we need to, to grab onto here today is that uh, there is much more to this idea of life that really pays off than simple promises of security. That there is much more to the idea of being rewarded and being richly uh, seeing life pay off in a grand, fantastic way than simple security matters. So uh, to kind of wrap it up here today, let me give you a, a simple idea to, to ponder tonight as you, or today if you're listening to this in the morning on your way into work and as you are going into the, the job situation, uh, just to kind of let this ramble through your, you know, the, uh, the cortex of your mind. You know, be a person who is looking for an opportunity to take a, a bit of a risk, to, to take a little bit of a, a way that's not the, the simple way, not the, the easy way out, not the predictable way out, but uh, one who is looking to go out on the, the edge, uh, not the way of the, the masses, but uh, I know it's oversimplified and overstated perhaps, but you get the idea, the, the narrow path. And you know, when, when Robert Frost talked about the narrow path versus the white path, Jesus said it too. He's really just replicating what Jesus said, really. And uh, most of what is said by poets and others who are famous for their quotes really are really paraphrasing somebody else who said it before, and as in Robert Frost's case, taking the, uh, the road less traveled. Uh, but uh, it, it really isn't a road less traveled, even a narrow path. It's a razor thin path is what it comes down to. Take that razor thin path, the one that you know in your heart of hearts is going to pay off in gigantic, gigantic dividends. And, and how do you know when to take that path? How do you know which, which path to take? Well, I'll tell you, in your heart of hearts, in your, your, your mind, as you are, are walking through life, there is a, uh, a knower that is deep inside of you, that has been speaking to you since you are three years old, of uh, this is the path, take it. And in fact, that is a rough translation of uh, a verse in the Old Testament. This is a path, walk ye in it. And uh, we are so complicated as adults. We are so uh, incredibly uh, empirical. Uh, we have gotten to the point for many of us that if, if you can't weigh it, if you can't put a litmus test to it, then it isn't real. But, but folks, you and I both know that there are so many things that are so incredibly real that are, that are not in this, uh, this physical world, that are, that are far beyond this physical world, that, that have paid off in gigantic dividends for so many people in history, so many people alive today or that have lived in the latter part of the 20th century that have not lived by the five senses. So go back, think through your childhood, think through the chances that you almost acted upon, that you almost pushed the button on and yet you didn't and realized if I'd only done that, I could have been, it could have been so different. Not to punish yourself, not to flog yourself and say, if I'd only, if I'd only, if I'd only. You know, th that's a, the wrong way to approach life. But, but learn from that and say, you know, it's not too late to change. It's not too late to change. You know, there is something to be said 
for living intuitively, taking risks, and, and learning from mistakes we've made, and saying, you know, the next time that opportunity comes along, and I hear that still small voice whispering in my ear, I think I'm not gonna play it safe. I think I might disagree with my stock investor. I think I might disagree with my uncle, who has always been my, 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 my job consultant. I think I might just leave this job behind and go and take the risky path with the startup company because there's something inside me saying, this is golden. This opportunity is gonna do something gigantic, significant, that's gonna go public and become a, a major force in this aspect of, this, of the market. So think about that. I'll see you tomorrow, and let's talk about some more fears that we can annihilate and blow the heck out of and be free. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. You've been listening to Outward Focus with Steve Shogren, brought to you by OutwardBuzz.com.